Well, good morning, Reptile Geeks. We are officially going to Tinley Park here, everybody. When I mean me, we, I mean me and my capadre here. <laughs> so we are going to the largest reptile show in the country here that we actually attended last year, and I actually did have a very good time there. So we are officially going back, everybody, and this time I'm not picking out any animals. No, no, we are not doing that. I'm probably gonna probably... What? Fire, fire, fire. Oh no, I, I mean it this time. I really mean it this time. We are, I'm probably gonna probably pick up a few supplies is what I'm actually looking for. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he doesn't believe me, but I guess he'll believe it when, when he sees it. So, but regardless of that, we are gonna have a good time. We're gonna try to. So with that, everybody feel free to smash that like button and we'll head right into the building. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this shirt that I'm wearing, it actually just came in right before I actually left the house. So I was really worried this shirt wasn't gonna be able to arrive on time, but thank you, Lord, that it did right at the last minute. So I'm gonna be doing this to honor good, my good uh, in inspiration, Brian Barczyk, everybody. If you don't know who that is, I suggest you guys go ahead and actually check out his YouTube channel. He did absolutely a phenomenal job over these years of trying to get so many people to fall in love with reptiles and educating people about the truth about them. So it, it's just absolutely incredible for what he's accomplished. And I'm, it's awesome that his family is continuing with his legacy. And we're gonna actually meet his family there too at some point. So like I said, smash that like button. Let's go ahead and head inside the convention center. <laughs> After day one of the show, everybody, it was absolutely really neat to see lots of people attending there. And I saw a few people that actually recognized me, which was really cool. So right now, well, not right now, but here in a little bit, we're going to be heading back over to the show, everybody, and we're going to be attending the auction that's going on here for people that who have a VIP pass there. So it's going to be really, really interesting to attend this very first time kind of auction for me because we didn't do it last year since we didn't really well now this time we do so we'll go ahead and pack up a little bit and then we'll head back over to the convention center so we just arrived back to the convention center and as we um we're planning on entering inside where the auction is going to be taking place we apparently uh especially me did not know that we were supposed to purchase also a ticket to it um, attend the auction going on so that was something that I did not was not aware of I just thought if you had your VIP pass and your VIP writs um, I thought you could get in so but oh well so we're gonna be coming back here tomorrow morning for the second day of the show and then after that I think we're gonna go ahead and head back up home and uh, just to see uh, what else what we can find out for tomorrow so what's what do you think you want to do now blink breathe Figure out what we're gonna eat tonight. <laughs> see what uh, see what's around here that uh, you know entertainment or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can do think, find something entertaining. Yeah. All right. So now it is Sunday, everyone. Sunday morning. It is ten o'clock, and we are about to head over back to the convention center here for just a couple more hours of the show before we head back up north. So we're going to try and get a lot more footage this time today because I didn't get too much from yesterday since it was just so packed in there. But nonetheless, it was still fun. But we're going to go ahead and head over there this time and see what we can see get on film. <laughs> all around me everybody there's just hundreds and hundreds of people that have come to this reptile show twice a year every March and October and it's just absolutely fun to see all these kids seeing these young adults just having a good time here and just you know getting together you know just having meeting some great ambassadors that so many people looked up to and I'll never and I'll and I'm not gonna lie it's definitely different now because we actually you know lost somebody special here in the community but 
regardless of that, it's just absolutely wicked to actually see all this. So, but it's just, it makes me feel like a little kid in a candy store, everybody. And even though my dad may not feel the same about it, but it's just still awesome. Just getting to meet so many cool reptile people like me out here, so. But yeah, if you get ever in the Tinley area in March or October and the show's going on this on the weekend, feel free to check it out. Cheese. Check this out everybody, we got ourselves some cute yellow anacondas here on display. That's just so awesome. And rarely do you ever see them for sale in captivity. Because normally you see their green ones here, their bigger cousins. Absolutely wicked. Anacondas, since I was a little kid, was a child favorite of mine, and now I finally uh, get to see a whole lot more in person. It's just absolutely awesome. I, I never thought when I was little, I never thought in my lifetime I'd ever get to see one. That's just so cool. I'm on cloud nine right now. <laughs> Curious on how tiny these little tortoises are, everybody? Like literally, hand size comparison, that's how little they are. It's amazing that these guys are known to be one of the largest species of tortoises in captivity. So, it's really awesome and adorable how tiny they start out. Absolutely cute. And just think that uh, probably uh, many years from now, these guys probably will outlive me. There's a pretty good chance they will. I think they're gonna outlive me. That's a huge buzz. Well, everybody, I think we're gonna wrap it up here in a little bit. Probably maybe in like another half hour or so because we gotta hit the road here. We got a long drive back up north. And uh, it sounds like the weather's not doing too great there back at home. So we're going to probably take it low and slow and uh, just take our time on the road. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, take one more look around actually and see if I can uh, see what else is get catches my eye here at the show. But everything else just looks awesome. All right, it's time for us to get out of here, everybody, because we got a long road trip ahead. Absolutely a blast to be here at the Timley Park Show, and I cannot express this enough any further. Well, for those of you guys that came out to Timley, uh, it's great to see you all up here. And, uh, Okay, so it's the next day and I literally didn't even get back home you guys late until about 11.30 last night and I just felt really tired. So once I just got my PJs on, I just jumped on the bed and I went night night for the next several hours and just got home from work. So now we gotta actually think of a game plan here on, well I gotta think of a game plan here. Figure out where, I think we're gonna figure something out. Putting Ellie's new cage right on the rack system there. I'm gonna figure something out here. I just don't have a plan right at the moment. I'll think of something. So with that, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video for all of you that actually watched me here at the Tinley Park Show. It was great to meet some of you folks that were actually passionate about reptiles just like I am. So feel free to, again, smash that like button and feel free to hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't done that yet. So I'm going to go ahead and let you all go. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.